Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Wigan Athletic Career Mode. This is episode 3. Um, what I plan on doing eventually is having an internet upgrade because I have just watched back a little bit of the gameplay. Like everything's fine, this is all fine, this all works cool, no issues here. But then as soon as you come to gameplay it has its little blips. I need to resolve that which is a bit of a pain. But I will try and figure that out as soon as I can. So hopefully we stop getting those blips coming up because they are a little bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, as we'll get on with it like normal. And last time you've seen us, we've won our first game here against QPR at Loftus Road, which was a very, very good performance. I was very happy with that, a 2-1 win. I uh, don't remember who scored the goals. I don't know if you can actually check. No, you can't. Okay, so we'll go back. Um, yeah, so then we went across and we played a few games off camera. We then won 1-0 against Rotherham. Uh, bear in mind, I didn't actually play these games. I just simulated them because I didn't have much time. So we beat Rotherham 1-0. We drew with Brentford, which was okay. Well, Rother Rotherham game was at home. But the Brentford one was away, so I'll take a draw away. We proceeded to lose into Hull City at home, which was, you know, you expect Hull to beat us. It was a bit annoying. But a few days later, at home again, we proceeded to beat in Bristol City, which is decent. 2-0 win. I mean, you can be happy with that. Then lose to Norwich. And I think, oh, there, there we go. We got a draw against Swansea, which is a very good result. A draw against Preston away, and we are now at the next game, which is West Brom at home. We'll simulate the Millwall game midweek, um, and we'll probably sim the Sheffield United game, and we'll come back to the Leeds one, I think. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So let's let's go and uh, have a little look at the table. You might have caught a glance of it a second ago when I was scanning through. I know there was one on that page as well, but let's go to the proper one. So, we're not rock bottom of the table anymore, which is an improvement. I mean, we were looking embarrassingly bad at one point. We now have 12 points from 12 games, which is a very, very good turnout. I think if we do that by the end of the season and get 46 points, that'll be pretty good. You know, that'll keep us out of relegation. We won't go down on that one. But... Really, we should be aiming for the mid-table group. I think we're good enough to get there. We just need to uh, find a way of being consistent, which we're really not. But yeah, Rotherham sitting at the bottom with Preston and Reading in the relegation zone. It's a very close table. You've got Bolton, Bristol and Birmingham on the same points as Preston, who are 23rd. So, and yeah, we're only two points outside the relegation zone, so we can't wave away the relegation zone yet. We haven't cleared that yet, but all we can do, go into this game against West Bromwich Albion and hope we can actually pick up a good result. Now, kits. Um, uh, mm. I would say that one clashes less. I don't understand West Brom's kits, but okay. I think that one clashes less, so we're just going to go in and as always, well from now anyway we're going to put James Scott in because he played so good in his first game we'll give him another shout up front he deserves to play and yeah that looks decent from us and let's do this there might be a slow loading screen I don't know I know EA brought a patch in but I don't know if it affects any like already set up career modes I hope it does uh, where they fixed the finesse shooting and they fixed uh couple of things they, they said there's career mode fixes but i haven't looked at them yet so i don't know what they are oh dear that was terrible right let's have a look we're not even going to bother with all that well the main story here is we are going to see in action the top scorer in the league and it's live okay the top scorer in the league jay rodriguez coming up against us which is terrifying because i think we've got one of the worst defenders in the league Hello everyone, Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith with me as usual. Big welcome to you to today's game. Wigan Athletic against West Bromwich Albion. I don't know if the back of our shirts are blue or not. 
Yeah, they are. That's fine. The table West Brom are good top of the table. The side of really error playing for us. Really strong contenders. Difficult team to beat. But they've been rather to beat as this league table just reflects. Well, right. lots of points to play Forcing. for, but uh, Stop. they've been less than foul on Scott. Referees officiating properly here within the laws of the game. Right. We have anyone that free kick. kick. Although early, sometimes the players to get away with it. I think. Um. I'm just gonna have a go with pa Powell. Uh, uh, straight in. Well. Sam Johnson, Man United, I assume. I think they signed him. Powell Robson Cup. Robson Connect. Neatly intercepted. Did we get a throw in. West Brom have started off a little bit shaky here. It gives us an opportunity. Still got a bit to do, but this Hudson is. Hudson Odoi. I think that was Pal. Ah, four from us. Sula. Uh, and now they're on the attack. That's what we have to be wary of. That's from counter attack. The draws in their last two games. That's slightly unsettling. Yeah, I think they do need that win just to give them the Good tackle there from Reese James. Yes, is he? Livermore. Field. Rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Finally getting some red car obstructing the main entrance. Please remove the car as soon as possible. Thank you. Now out. out wide. Josh Windass. Room to the wing. Powell again. Poor touch there from Nick Powell. And Phillips. Field. Are we closing down? No, apparently not. And we get the ball back. We are dominating the top of the table team here. We're in West Bromwich Albion. We're getting all. Well, West Bromwich Albion, you grew up pretty close to uh, Ooh. the Hawthorne. Did you ever go as a. No, I don't think I did, Martin, but uh, as a player, he's loved. Hit it. Oh! It's a decent Just over. Of sting in it. I'm not sure if it was yeah, wide or over, but it was a. He really did visit, didn't he? Just that was a really, really good strike from the youngster, young 17-year-old from Scotland. That we picked up from, I believe, Motherwell. I was wondering earlier, Alan, whether you'd been to West Brom as a lad growing up in the Birmingham area. No, I actually said that uh, there. used to pop along to slip through. Now Gibbs, time to get the ball in. Well, they kept up Clear the it. Pressure, didn't Clear they? it. But it's finally been stopped now. Right. Okay. West Brom are getting in the game a little bit Going more forward, now. A bit of menace in this attack. Field. Field. Into Phillips. Phillips. Trying to pick out someone Ooh, in the centre. Ooh, I was about to say one nil. Right. It looked like Robson Canoe put not that in. Ah, not too much wrong with the technique there. Unlucky from him. No, Antoine Robinson. Kipre, Sula, Windas, loses the ball, very sloppy football there. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Gets his cross in, only partially away from danger. shot off now, corner. And here's the possibility of making a chance to go in front. In from Phillips. Crossed in from Phillips and, and Jasula gets the ball away for us. And back out to Phillips cross. into Yazizi. There's going to be a deflection for Robson Canoe. There's not a lot we could do. The ball bounced down nicely for a rebound effort there for Robson Canoe. And there was absolutely nothing we could do there. I don't think the patch has been put it onto career mode that it started already, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but what can you do about it? But we are 1 0 down from a rebound goal there from Hal Robson Canoe. A little bit frustrating. Oh, oh dear. Our oh, captain just still has given it away there. Good vision. Oh, keeper, why are you there? The Alan Kipre. They believe they get through them, but they Sula. haven't. And now Powell. they can get on the ball and play. Scott. Hudson Adoy. 
Liverpool. Felt like he was fouled there. Gibbs. Hal Robson Carnick. Burn does very, to very well there. Where that pass was going. They looked in, but he's Get right. the danger. Flicked on. And he bangs it away. Windass can't quite get there, but the, the, the midfielder makes a mistake there and gives Windass the ball. Scott. Scott over the top. Oh, top Windass is in. To chase. Crosses it in. First time. Oh no! How? It's a good save from Johnston in goal there. Nick Powell should be doing it's better though. Buzz in this ground after that save, and uh, we might look back on that as the the match-winning moment. We should have done better there. Going forward well. No cross, good block. What well well Sula. A goal up. Now they've got a corner here. Now defensively, well, along the not lines of Fernando Torres in his uh, fantastic right now. First year at Chelsea when he just didn't get going at all and uh, he had a huge barren run. Yeah. Uh, he's not going to like that one. Foul by Matty Phillips and I think he'll get a book in. Yeah, he does indeed. It's got to be a card, a yellow one. Yeah, he reached for that back pocket. Tom Robinson, Windass, Sula, Morsi. Bad touch there from Scott. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Fourth official has indicated there will be a minute. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision. Struggling a little bit now. Three minutes added on. Saw the pass coming. Powell goes in first. really late there. Probably will pick up a booking for that. Unless halftime saves his blushes on that one. So it's one nil here as the It was an interesting goal. first half. It didn't go exactly to plan. We started off very well. I think we might have all the possession. Which I'm curious actually about. Now that doesn't make any sense. We dominated the first bit of game and they didn't really get much of the ball, so we should have the possession really. What's let us down really is the rebound effort for Jay Rodriguez. We couldn't do any more. And Powell did pick up a booking, guys. But we're gonna Oh yeah, this is one thing that's happened since you were last here. We brought uh, Walker back from his loan and also I think there will be a new player in our reserves that I may have not mentioned, but I will talk about that after this game. Let's try and uh, get something out of this match first, shall we? And it is the kick Obviously, we're expected half. to come away with nothing from this game because of the position of the table we are and the position of the table they are. Walker! First time he's played since returning oh, from his loan. We also have another good player away on loan, I think, to Peterborough or Sunderland. Room for the cross. I think Walker was from Peterborough. We got a player yeah, out of Sunderland. He's too good to be the there and definitely will be in our team in when he comes back. But I'm not paying 500k to bring him back. I think he's only on a short term loan, so. Should see him very soon. Oh. Kip Ray has come over, does well. very well. Second attempt there by Gibbs, I believe it was. Al Robson Canu, the goal scorer, is coming off, and Dwight Gale is coming on. He's linked the play well, he's been energetic, so they're just saving him, I think. He's gone over everybody. Walker. Disappointed that that didn't need to more. Walker. A reminder Sula. to you that on EA Sports we're covering the EFL Championship fixture. Oh, Hudson the Doy. I thought he was going to get there. A lot there. of people been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. Agassi. Thought he was going to get there, Liverpool. but unfortunately not. What about West Brom's next match? They're playing Derby County in their next match in the championship. Okay, now West Brom are Do playing like a team top of the table. He's going to win this tight one. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good Commentator's area. curse, maybe? Matty Phillips just... I believe that was Matty Phillips. He just ran it out of play. Whoever their okay. winger was there. To Scott. Scott. Windass. Scott again. Walker. Ah, oh, it was Morsi, sorry. We were creating a chance there. Cut out the last man. 
Dawson. seems to be quite a lot for us at the moment. West Bromwich Albion to make the substitution. Jay Rodriguez. There's not a foul there. I'm not having that. Right. We're going to make a sub because it's just not working out, guys. Let's get Ashraf on. He was complaining the other day he's not being played enough. We'll bring off Windass. And we'll also bring on De Silva Lopez for Hudson Adoy, who's not had his best game today. So switching up the two wingers and we switched up the cam. It's an interesting substitution. Rather than continuing the way they're playing, the way they've got into the lead, what we have, we hold. We have to do something. Has a go here. Well Has a goal done. Right Kundo. We're going to call him Facundo because I don't know how to say his surname. Antoine Robinson. Ashraf. Kisula. Morsi. Walker. De Silva Lopez. Down the wing. Rhys James. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. That's not gone very well. Oh, guys, this is hard to be in this game here right now. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. We win a throw in, that's something. I expected us You're to give it straight to back go. to them there. The way we've been playing in this game. Wouldn't have been shocked. Scott. Out to Robinson. Can he keep it in? Robinson. Yes, he can. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. The American still going. Scott. And it's gone for a corner. Opportunity arises for us. Silva Lopez, Kipre, Sam Morsi. Oh, we're creating the chances. Gibbs, Livermore. Come on. I'm not sure how risky this might be. Playing the ball around in their own half. Ashraf throws him down. No. Win it. Lovely. Good reading of the play by the defender. One more. It's to Silva Lopez. Here's Walker. Oh, uh, we're just not really creating really anything, guys. This is incredibly frustrating. Could be dangerous. Well, that didn't work out. Silva did Lopez. To Scott. There's Walker. We've got ten Sula. left on the clock. Time is ticking away. Our here. attacking mid's been that taken out of play, but that was a great advantage according to the referee. Fans, though, racking up the atmosphere. Yeah, just important now that they don't launch long balls forward, that they keep their patience and try and threading it through. It's a good cross. Only partially away from danger. Right. Can we actually counter attack? It's into Ashraf. Well, the noise in here. These fans, they like the Ashraf is Morsi. Morsi out wide. Reese James. Reese James wins a corner. We are creating chances now. There's a header. Oh, header at goal there by Dan Byrne. Unfortunately, wasn't good enough. Sam Johnson's going to run the clock down. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match. Walker. Number 33. Lovely ball. Yes! Come on! Come on! The Silver Lopez! After Dan Byrne gets announced as a man of the match, the Silver Lopez has just come out of nowhere there. Completely out of nowhere. What a pass. From, is that Walker? I think it's Walker that played the pass. And what a finish by the Silver Lopez into the bottom corner with the chip. That is fantastic. Sam Johnston's positioning could have been a little bit better, but we don't yeah, care about so that. Level, both We've sides gone and grabbed ourselves a unlikely possible draw right now. Two more minutes to be played then, added time. Two minutes added on. Can, can we hold on? Can we hold on and get a draw? Well, this is a wonderful chance. seems to be playing extra break. minutes right now. Hit prey. Gets rid of it. Um, ref. Come on, boys. We get a result here against West Brom. That is an incredible result for us at Wigan. We weren't looking very likely. We were struggling and we were, you know, 
At the start we were good and then we just fell apart. But we managed to save a draw with that great finish from De Silva Lopez. I'm absolute that's absolutely fantastic. I'm chuffed with that. So yeah, guys, that was a good good result there for us. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simulate a couple of games. I don't think I have time to play another one today. But what I'll do is I'll simulate a couple of matches now and get through as many as I can whilst on camera. Cooper, yeah, Cooper and Morgan, two new youth players for us that we picked up from the last scout report. Morgan's got potential of 94 and Cooper has too, but Cooper started on a lot of a higher rating. Uh, but I have brought Cooper into the squad. I think I have anyway. One of them has been brought up. I'll check that in a minute for you. But Morgan is growing very nicely, so that's something to look out for. Let's have a little look a minute. I think I brought Cooper up. I'm not 100% sure if I did. Yes, there he is. There's Cooper. Um, also, what else have we done since? I don't know if we did Wild before, but I needed an extra centre-back, so I picked him up from the free agents. I thought, why not? Yeah, we'll leave Cooper where he is for now. But that was a very, very good performance from us against West Bromwich Albion. We were looking out of place at one point, but we came back and managed to do okay, to be fair. We're going to throw a quick save in because I know that... Well, we're going to try and throw a quick save in, but the game is going to completely lag out and not let us do it. There we go. Um, because we know the game sometimes crashes on... Uh, simulates and stuff which is a bit of a pain so we're going to go into this game against Millwall who are very close to us in the table we're away from home I'm going to play it let it play out hopefully we can get a victory today Millwall are a good side I'm surprised they're as low as they are so you know 20 minutes in it's okay it's looking all right nothing's happened so far still nothing I mean, coming up to halftime now, nothing is yet to happen in the game. No booking, no injury, no subs, no goals. And Scott has just come on for Grig. We made a couple of changes now. Are we holding in? Hudson Adoy has come off for De Silva Lopez. And we get a nil nil draw. Okay, that'll do. We didn't lose, so we got another draw. We're at 14 points in 14 games now, which is very, very, very good for us. Uh, sitting in 16th in the table, Millwall just below us. Um, yeah, it's not too bad, to be fair. Uh, we're going to go now into the Sheffield United game, and with a bit of luck, that will go similarly, because they are roughly, I think, around us as well in the table, or are they a lot higher? Wait, Preston down there. Where are Sheffield United? Oh dear, they're seventh. Okay. Well, it could be a bit harder then. Could be a bit trickier this one. But we're gonna we're just not gonna bother saving it before this one because I'll just take the risk. So Right. Let's see if we can get to half time without conceding. That on a bit nope, okay. <laughs> nope, we cannot. We must have conceded from a corner. Richard Stearman with the goal. Oh dear boys. Oh dear. This could be a tough one, yep. 2 0 down now. This could be a tough game, this one. Like I expected. When I seen their league position. And no, we lose 2 0. Okay, okay, okay. That's not gone well. That's not gone well, is the best way of putting it. Um. <laughs> I don't know what to do with the team. Let's just train these guys again. Get these uh, five players... Well, yeah, five players training up there. I thought I'd put Scott on too because there was no face for him there. But we're fine. Uh, what's the message we have? Stephen Wild, you're not really good enough to play yet, are you? You'll play when you're good enough. I forgot I'm supposed to be training him too. That might be where I'm going wrong. He's meant to be on the training schedule. But, hopefully he doesn't get upset at me. Okay, guys, we're going to get a live youth. There you go. I told you Ashraf was uh, whinging. 
Right, so let's have a look at Morgan for you guys so you can see. Oh, he has dropped a little bit. Nicholas Morgan. You know, to me, 5 foot 11 is a bit short, but I think he'll grow at 17. Is it 17 they grow or 18? One or the other. I think he'll grow, so he should be like a 6 foot 2. Which is okay. Hopefully he doesn't lose his potential by then. I'm hoping he keeps going. So we'll delete that. Now, what is the scout report today? Okay, this is one thing we like to see. Ollie Davis looks incredible. Isaac Brown, not good enough for my liking. And we're going to be fussy. Right, so Isaac Brown's going. Um, yeah, we're going to let Corner Carter go. Mainly because I just don't think he's quite cut out for it. But Ollie Davis definitely going to be signed to the youth squad. But guys, unfortunately, this is where I'm going to have to leave today's episode. I haven't had much time to do a lot today, but just record one while I had uh, five minutes to myself. And yeah, hopefully that is going to come out okay. Uh, next episode, there'll be two games that are playing in it. Uh, maybe three at a stretch if I have more time. But I hope you've enjoyed, guys. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. And if you're subscribed already, leave a like if you enjoyed it. And if there's anything I can uh, improve, let us know. Obviously, internet, you know, guys. <laughs> Don't leave that in the comments. I know that's a problem. But I'll do what I can, really. But yeah, I've been Chris12LFC, and I will see you later.